I like video games. Ben Lozano seems like a typical 16-year-old boy. Honey bun and cheesecake. He's a junk food addict, and he argues with his mom. What's the past month been like? Has it been hard? No. It's been easy. It's been easy? It's been easy? Hadn't been easy for me. <laughs> Definitely hadn't been easy for me. But Ben's life isn't just like any typical teenager's. He was born with muscular dystrophy, a genetic disease that causes muscles to weaken over time. Already battling one terminal illness, Ben was given another, an even more terrifying challenge. At first it was a headache and then he started saying pressure and he just kept saying pressure, pressure. In late October, Ben's mom Val took her son to the hospital. The doctor kind of wanted to just say, it's migraine. And he told us, he said, I'm gonna give him some medicine to get him comfortable and send him home. But like any concerned mom, Val knew when there wasn't something right with her son. He turned around and he looked at me and he said, Ms. Lozano, do you have anything you want to ask? Cause you look like you have something you wanna say. And I said, yeah, can we do a CT scan? This is not normal for my son. But as she didn't ask for a CT scan, I don't know what was gonna happen. It was Val who asked the doctor to do more than prescribe him medication something Ben is grateful for. If I hadn't advocated for him and pretty much demanded that they do something more than try to send my home son home with just medication, then we wouldn't even know that he had a tumor. And he, he's scared of what would have happened. Val has supported Ben even before he was born. Doctors warned that Ben's life could be challenging, but nothing could have prepared them from what happened in October. We got results that no parent wants to hear. He was told he had glioblastoma, but was officially diagnosed with anaplastic epidenoma. Both are forms of brain cancer, but Ben's shown nothing but strength. It's definitely there. That fighter spirit is definitely there. I can't tell you how many times in the past month that I've heard, Mama, don't cry. Don't be scared because I'm not. Val says she's seen her son fight every day of his life, not only with medical challenges, but also with normal childhood activities many people take for granted. Even when he was young and, and he, would, he was bullied over and over and over again about how he walked and how he run, ran, you know, and he would, all he wanted to do was play soccer with the neighborhood kids. And it felt like some days they would just come over and ask for him to go outside just to have somebody to pick on. But he was still determined to go back the next day. You know? Mm -mm. Ben's a bit shy in front of the cameras, but his mom Val gives us some insight into the kind of person he is. She tells us a story about a family friend who asked Ben if he could have anything he wanted, what could it be? And he said, Mama, don't her son have cancer? She don't need to buy me anything. She needs to take care of him. So I told her, I sent her a message back and told her what she said, or what he said. And she sent back, you know, that her son had said, kids with cancer have to stick together so he couldn't say no. And he says, tell her that they pray for us and we'll pray for them. That's the kind of compassion that he has, and that's what I mean by he thinks about other people regardless of what he has going on. His fight is not only inspiring other kids. Shortly after our interview with Ben, police officers sitting a few tables over gave Ben honorary patches. I think it's still good for me, even if I have cancer and two terminal illnesses. Ben says he just wants his life to help other kids who are going through the same struggles he's dealing with. It, it don't matter if you can't walk or anything. You can still do anything you want. There will be a fundraiser here at Tiebreakers on Saturday from 12 to 3 p.m. It'll help cover the cost of his medical expenses. You can find that information on our website at WNCT.com. In Greenville, Victoria Holmes, 9 on your side.